Hey guys, with Abomination 9 here, we're back playing some more Doki Doki a Literature Club. Welcome back to Weeb Let's Plays. We left off. We were given the decision of who we want to spend our weekend with, I guess. And it's just like, oh my god, really? Like, Yuri is totally on the brink of self-destruction. Clearly. Monica, I don't know about her. I feel like Natsuki's probably probably the best. She hasn't really shown any shown any signs of uh, things being wrong, which actually might be uh, a flag where it's like, oh no, she's actually the worst off than all of them because she's not showing any signs of having problems, which means she just has a she puts up a good front. But it actually means she's the worst off as, for, uh, than the rest of them, but I don't know. Monica, she has some problems going on because she's clearly lying about playing piano. We don't know what she's doing before she gets a class, but it's definitely piano. Yuri has self-esteem issues and is they're just getting worse by the day because I refuse to accept her ideals because I'm going all in Sayuri, on Sayuri. So yeah. Natsuki seems to be the best off right now. They also have her name at the top as well. Uh, Monica, she kind of, I don't know. And Yuri is super, super not doing okay. So Yuri, I don't know what the heck's wrong with her. But I'm still going in on, on all on Sayori. So I'm going to choose Sayori here. I'm, I, I regret every decision I've made in the game. Because I know someone's going to die. Yuri's definitely going to freaking die or kill someone for sure. I don't know. Like, I, I just don't know if this game is a game where you're supposed to be nice to everyone. Because I don't play visual novels usually, but I think I know a lot about them from just seeing other people play them or uh, watching maybe anime that has to do with visual novels. And I'm pretty sure sometimes, not all the time, or not even some of the time, but a little bit of the time, you're supposed to be nice to everyone to actually win the game. They're usually you're only supposed to be nice to one person, which is what I'm doing here. But this might be the situation where it's like, no, be nice to everyone. You're not, maybe I'm, you're not supposed to be hooking up or anything, but I don't know. I'm pretty much, I pretty much understand at this point that it's, we, we're getting game, game over. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I'd prefer help. <sighs> Ray, that was a terribly constructed sentence are you stupid you would just say no what i would have said was well Sari seems to be troubled and i would like to help her uh actually to make sure that she gets the job done etc or something something that's just like i'm worried about Sayuri, so i'm going to help her for now or something like that. Not that, oh, I'd prefer to be with Sayori than you three. Like, Jesus Christ, that delivery was terrible. You're about to get... You just dropped, like, 8,000, let's just say, heart points with all three of these girls. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, apparently Sayori wasn't a option anyways, but I the, at least got that out. Alright, so, again, Yuri is on the road to offing herself or offing someone else so i feel like she's the one who needs to be taken care of right now monica's hiding things so she's a bit dangerous like i said i don't trust her i don't trust anyone i don't even trust ray because i feel like ray's gonna end up being a murderer anyways but i don't know also he's getting you could see this as being him being obsessive of sayori like it's getting out of hand, but that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm trying to go in all in all in on Sayori so that uh, I don't upset anyone. Though this just this definitely seems like a, a situation of maybe I should have been nice to everyone. But I'm going for Yuri 
Because like I said, she needs some attention so that she doesn't do anything crazy. Natsuki's fine. She's just a tsundere for now, though maybe she'll turn into a yandere later. I don't know. And Monica does need some assistance, but I don't trust her. I feel like she's definitely could be the yandere. So, I don't know. I'm going to go with Yuri. Well, I'd probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Me? Are you serious? Why would you... That's key. I can already tell that you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Ray? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that shouldn't be- that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. Also... I think I just screwed up. Because... Okay. They just said to me that Sayori is going to be helping Monika, which means I probably should have helped Monika because Sayori would have been there too. So I just lost Sayori points there. Dang it. Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Ray? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No. That's not what I meant at all. Uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I am sorry for this. I don't really know why Ray picked me. And also, the cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with the tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting mature, immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Oh my god, I feel so bad about that choice. I could just go back and pick Monika, but I don't know. Monika and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already ha uh, has trouble with words, trying to chill someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I began to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayuri. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could let she try to say something Sayuri would say at a time like this. Like Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about it themselves. Feel about, good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm going to say this. You better... You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. Hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Oh my god, I'm, I screwed up so badly. Everyone packs up their things. I should have went with Monica! I should follow Monica not to go out the door as they chat between each other. Um... Dang it. Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchanged phone numbers. This already feels dirty. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. What? My house? Is that a problem? N no, not at all. 
I just thought that I would be the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. I made a terrible decision. I should not let this woman in my house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I honestly might roll back and pick Monica. I'm just saying if things... Like, not necessarily if, not necessarily if things go sour, but if she puts some moves on me, I, I might just roll super hard, far back and pick Monica. Because if, if someone gets hurt, fine. Okay, I'll accept it. But if no one gets hurt, then I'm just going back to Monica. Rolling back and get the Monica, assuming that's where he's going to be with Monica. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either, uh, either much either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you. Don't underestimate yourself, Ray. I don't think that we'll make a very protective team. I think we'll make a very protective team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any reason you would, may have chosen me. If you're getting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wouldn't mean to point out what when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After the exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Why are you following? Don't follow me. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori? My anxiety still shoots through the roof. Okay, so that decision didn't mean, uh, didn't matter. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out, uh, that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. I'm really dreading this decision. I should have chose Monica. I should have just realized it then and been like, wait. Monica said she's going to be with Sayori. It's already Sunday. I've been getting incredibly anxious about Yuri's upcoming, upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been uh, texting occasionally. No! She was extremely appreciative at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard, any, I heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when, it, when she might need me? God, you're really making me dread this decision. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes. I, I honestly, you know what? I'm going to re-roll this. I'm going to see what happens. No matter what, we're going to go through with it. But I'm going to re-roll. So this episode might be a pointless one. But I, I can't accept this decision. I decide to visit Sayori before coming uh, before Yuri comes over. Okay, good. Actually, I appreciate that. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. Once I've reached Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it, so it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't aware, on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Okay, she's actually here and she looks fine. I was putting on a slightly lower voice for that, just in case something bad happened. Hi, Ray. 
I sit down in her room. She's embarrassed. Sorry faces, uh, forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sorry's room is as messy as it's always been. I also realize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hehe. <laughs> If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know about that? Sorry had already left uh, by the time we decided that last uh, meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, tr that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Okay, so she wasn't there anyways. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more signs between us. Sorry stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday... When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sorry smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Ray. What? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't go get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But th this this is just my pun punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being s so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Silly. I got so worried by the soldier so uh, shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other exp explanation for what yeah for you to be like this. So tell me already! Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it! Uh... <laughs> Shoei gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Ray. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you... Uh, what are you talking about, Sarity? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Ray? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? We make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it with me. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just make... want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Well, I already knew something was wrong, so... There's was... something wrong with everyone, but still... I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it even possible that Suri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Does she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? What? Why is it that you're, you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Ray. What do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then... I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone else, everyone in the club, feels like a spear going through my heart. So, that's why. 
That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Ray. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could help have help is if everyone could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now, you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just so weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's sh sh shoulders. This time, I pulled her in tight into a tight embrace. Uh, Ray. Suwari, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ray. Sorry isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sob sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't make- Please don't do this! Ray! I- Sayori barely manages to speak between the so her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need from uh, me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sherry finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Ray. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sorry lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me, uh, for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her, t her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, no, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sari shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I honestly should have picked Monica. I might just see what Monica's side looks like. I don't know. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. and We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a bit a uh, moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet, so were you waiting uh, for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way, uh, my way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. 
It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And, I di and did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I get everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I think you to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Mm hmm? Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Would have gladly helped you clean. Uh... That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, to look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. That may be a bit too... She might think that's a bit, uh... Forward or a bit too violent, honestly. Even though I mean just grabbing a wrist, but well, that might be a bit too forceful for her. This delicate person. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just pissing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping tra tra uh, track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, a few things planned that you can help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Uh, what? Oh, uh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's just, it's something that I like about you, actually. Sh shut up, Ray. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry events. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Ray rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows on black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? <sighs> Ray, I think as soon as she said black sheet over the window, I would have been like, all right, you need to, like, I would have taken a few steps back. Wherever you are in the room, even if you're already up against the, against the wall, I would have moved even further back. For a second there, that sounded like the Hyrule theme. Um, I would take a few steps back and be like, oh wait, hold on. Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Yeah, no duh, Ray. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite con uh, contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, that's a trigger word, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. You should have been uh, worried when she said the word romance. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells like a sweet and flowery. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I choose jasmine for the event because it provides more than provides more than relax relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. See, that part right there in the song sounds like the, the uh, Zelda theme. You feel warmer, and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing your poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. 
Yuri smiles gently, clearing, uh, clearly enjoying herself. She begins reaching in her bags and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it here, over here. We, uh, we won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, yeah? What will uh, those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be uh, so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? I don't know. Just... Warning. That's all I have to say. Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Ray. You can write any character you want. I'll help once I finish cutting the ribbons. Whoops. Uh, that was, I just right-clicked. No big deal. Uh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unveils a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then, she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of way, uh, waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. Is it an atham or something? Like, Yuri might be into some witchcraft stuff, because I kind of felt like that... I don't know, several episodes ago, that like she might be she might be into like the occult. Cause right, she knows she likes horror. She wrote that poem about that animal with the what Pelovian thing or whatever. But uh I felt like that could have been iffy, because it seems like that was kind of spooky, honestly. Like maybe she's sacrificing animals. No, she's leading an animal to her house with breadcrumbs, essentially. Like, leading them to her house and then maybe sacrificing them for the occult. Then she was talking about, we have candles. Okay, animals, horror, black paper over windows, candles, which is a big flag, an atom that she probably pulled out. It's not a pocket knife, it's probably an atom. So, I think she's, like, super into the occult. Though I'm just going over this now. I kind of thought this, like I said, episodes ago. It looks really fancy. Um, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're gonna think it's weird. I don't I don't know if it's necessarily an atom, like a sacrificial dagger, or an atom. There's another word for it. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each his own, you know. We promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Oh, pfft. that's a super flag. Forget the occult. Being in a knife, you need to... I wouldn't... Tr now she's super untrustworthy. You need to get the... Out of here. They're just so pretty. I mean, yeah, knives are cool and all, but... I... I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsman... Craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> you're, la you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits? Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife, with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this from the occult store? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Ray! Where did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp, but clearly she has a whetstone. 
that she sharpens these things with because she's a weirdo. Well, she's not a weirdo, but you know what I'm saying. She's a freaking yandere, clearly. She's in, into the occult, or she's yandere, she's going to be killing people with these knives. You know, there's red flags, she's always be up. Suspicious, Ray. You know what kind of story you're in. I barely trusted it all. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. Well, it's a bit late for that. It can cut through skin like it's paper. How would you know that? Um, do they usually wear... I don't know what their normal clothes look like. Hold on. Yeah, their normal clothes hide their arms, so we can't really tell. Maybe she cuts herself. Maybe she's the cutter as well. I wouldn't put it past her, because she does, like I said, she's very self-loathing. She thinks she's useless. I mean, she's super shy. She's into horror. I mean, she might be into a cult. She likes knives. She, this sentence here, she's well uh, averse with knowing that knives, these knives can cut skin. So either she's a cutter or she's cutting people. And I, I'm assuming it's the latter. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt and just say she cuts herself. I mean, look at what she's wearing right now. She has pants on, so we can't see her thighs. And she's wearing uh, a sweater, which hides her arms and wrists. So I think she's a cutter. Oh no! A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Yeah, I already, f already figured that. She's in the blood, probably. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Ugh, stop. I'm trying to hook up with Yuri. I mean, I'm trying to hook up with Sayuri. Like, in any other situation, okay, fine. But, like I said, I like, I would normally have picked Yuri in the first place if this wasn't a... Um, if she, they didn't have a childhood friend. Because a childhood friend always gets shafted. They never hook up with the main character, the protagonist. And I'm sick of it. So that's why I'm going full-on Sayuri route. Otherwise, I would love to be with Yuri, even if she's crazy. The weirdos are cool. The crazies are cool. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh! B -b Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Well, no, duh. Yuri! That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm s sorry, I'm sorry. Uh... Sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. <sighs> she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'd do it anyways. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in her t What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Like, my hands are on my head in frustration. Ray, please, I'm trying to hook up with Yuri. You're making all this effort futile. You've wasted... What episode is this? Six or whatever? You, you're wasting five episodes of work. I should have chosen Monica. If Monica... I don't want to know if I want to lose this plot, though, because it's some interesting plot. Ray! Did you really just do that? N -n now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweat, aro oh, sweat, sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Ray. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where did you... where do you keep the bandages? Uh... I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. I saw I probably should have said trigger warning while I was talking about cutters. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out by uh, side by side. It looks better than I expected, and uh, will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. 
Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? Alright, so I'm actually going to end it there because it's been 40 minutes. I didn't really want to end it there because I wanted to like finish the Yuri scene and then roll back and choose Monica and see what happens. But we'll just have to do that after the next episode, I guess. So we're going to save that. So that was here. So I will be rolling back to this point at some time, though we're just going to continue with the Yuri uh, scene in the next episode. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment, as you do. See ya.